This is my synthesis book, Quiet, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking, and Quiet's author, Susan King. There are two general types of people in the world, introverts and extroverts. Introverted people are typically quieter than extroverted people. Extroverted people are typically more social. Introverted people appreciate being alone but can be socially alienated for a number of reasons. These reasons may include discomfort in social situations and behavior that may be misinterpreted as rude. While extroverted people welcome talking to new people, introverted people typically do not and may have difficulty communicating. Introverted people's actions affect their interpersonal relationships and roles in society because they have different characteristics than their counterparts, extroverted people. Introverted and extroverted people's characteristics are demonstrated in all kinds of interactions, including social media. Recent studies indicate that introverts are actually very active on social media. According to Harbo, research has found that introverts are quite successful in social interactions online, find it easier to express themselves online, and in turn, oftentimes prefer it. This is because introverts feel a need to control the amount of social interactions they subject themselves to, and the online work is a place where they have a stability. Less introverted people may even prefer social media as a way of communicating. Through social media, introverted people gain the ability to express themselves in ways they never had before. They can tell their friends and family how they feel about certain situations. They can express their opinions about anything, including current events, news, and popular culture. Social media allows introverts to express themselves without any of the immediate consequences that one may experience in real life, since introverted people generally have more trouble speaking up and expressing themselves. They use social media as a means to effectively communicate with others. As a result, social media positively affects introverted people's relationships with others. However, on the other hand, introverted preferences for online communication can have negative effects if it results in an avoidance of in-person interactions. Generally speaking, introverted people are also thought of as incapable of properly expressing their emotions to others. However, introverted people know that their fellow introverts actually have multiple layers of emotions and depth of emotions. They are just less likely to share these emotions readily. In this case, not being able to communicate effectively, to communicate feelings effectively can, de can have detrimental effects on a person's relationships and emotional well-being. In an article about how introversion can affect interpersonal relationships, Del Antonio states that when she skips big gatherings of strangers, she's not um, just being a little rude to the individual people around her. She's being uncivil in a larger sense. She also suggests that those casual interactions in dog runs and at kids' hockey games are the ones that are the most likely to cross social and economic barriers. In these quotations, the author is saying that appealing to one's introvert tendencies can be rude and can limit exposure to new opportunities and experiences. Introverts' actions also affect the people around them. For example, Del Antonio, in a different article, states that it's been a challenge to accept that a child now 15 still has less interest in the kind of busy social life she herself craves. The woman in this anecdote is an extrovert while her daughter is an introvert. She does not know if she should or to what extent she should encourage her daughter to be more social. In this way, introverted people's actions are lack thereof can affect their relationships and their closest friends and family's actions and feelings. As a result, being an introvert plays a large role in friend and close family relationships. The general public may question the notion that people can only be categorized as an introvert such as extrovert. In recent years, research has revealed that there is an introvert-extrovert spectrum. People can demonstrate both introvert and extrovert tendencies. In certain situations, introverted people act more like introverts, while in other situations, they appear more extroverted. In a, New York, in a New York Times article, North gives a striking example of a person with both introverted and extroverted tendencies. It suggests that President Obama has many introverted traits, yet he also has one of the most socially prominent and well-respected roles in the world. In conclusion, regardless of whether introversion and extroversion are seen as polar opposites or along a spectrum, these tendencies can affect interpersonal relationships and roles in society. The two different personality types complement each other and make one another stronger. In my earlier example, the mother wanted to push her daughter to be more social, and maybe for this reason, her daughter did become more social. In contrast, the mother may have benefited by gaining insight to the mind of an introvert, thus gaining empathy. In this way, the opposing characteristics of both introverts and extroverts positively influence one another. In conclusion, introverted 
and extroverted people's actions affect each other by simply gaining more awareness about introverts one can expand their social circle.